You know what YouTube needs? More NZXT H1 videos. All right, so a subscriber requested that I do this video, so thank you for giving me another idea for the channel. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go over how to replace the power supply unit inside of the NZXT H1 case. Now, just to update you guys, I still have not gotten replacement screws for this thing yet. However, they did email me and let me know that they're going to send everything, but that was two weeks ago. So now it's going on about almost a month and a half since I haven't had any fits for this, any true fits for this anyway. But since I did the zip tie fits, this thing has been running pretty decent, but that's besides the point. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove the shell from the case in general. That way you can access the inside components. All right, to do that, you wanna take off the front glass panel. And you want to take off the back panel itself. Whoa. All right, nothing's broken, we're good. And then we need to And there we go. After you remove the outer shell and everything, you want to remove these two screws here. That way we can open this up here. Um, as we can see, the power supply looks like it can be easily taken out, but it's not that simple. So we actually need to go over here and pop this out. Now there's a few things we need to do in this part. We have to remove all the cables. And then there's also a couple of screws on this side here by the GPU that we need to remove. So let's uh, start doing that. Okay, so now we got all the cables removed from here. As we can see, it's a fully modular power supply. And now we gotta take out the SSD. Once you have the GPU out, you have to remove this screw here and this screw here. Okay, so once that is done, you can now remove the drive cage from the power supply area. Okay. And as we can see, we have full access to the power supply itself. All right, so with the drive cage out, what you gotta do now, you gotta remove this screw that's under the power supply right here. See if I can get to it. Yeah, where my thumb is, there's like a screw here that you need to remove. Then from there, you want to do this screw here and this screw here. And you have this screw and this screw out. You have to go to the top and you have to remove this one and this one. Now that that's out the way, you have to 
kind of push this in and you'll see the last four screws are exposed here. So you have to remove these screws to get the power supply unit out entirely. So I went on ahead and removed all those screws and once everything is out, you should be able to All right, there we go. Power supply has been removed. This is a S650, so it's a 650 watt power supply. Pretty decent for what this computer does, so no worries there. Um, as you can see, it's fully modular, but yeah, that's how you fully take it out and um, replace it if you need to with a 750 or 850 watt power supply or higher, make sure it is a small form factor power supply like a uh, SF or S power supply. Otherwise it's not going to fit in this case. Um, if you do not get that size, um, you may need to mount it externally somewhere, but make sure it is a small form factor or S uh, type power supply. Normally, if you go to nzst.com and look up the case, they tell you which um, power supplies will be compatible with it. Make sure you get a S or SF small factor power supply, otherwise it's not going to fit. Okay, so now we gotta put this back in. All right, so there you have it, how to replace or remove a power supply unit from the NZXT H1 case. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. If you wanna to wait to see what else I'm doing with my content before you subscribe, that's fine as well. But I just wanted to give a short video on this so uh, I could help the subscriber out. And uh, the next one, I don't know what the next one will be. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Catch you guys later.